Well, we are going to replace a tarp on this trailer. It's all ripped up on this backside. We really don't know what happened other than the wind got a hold of it. But I've got a new tarp and we're going to go ahead and uh, get that swapped out. Um, yeah. Got a little water on it. So, we're gonna get started here. Last time we did this job, we had a ladder go flying across the shop. Do you remember that, Jay? Yeah. How'd that happen? <laughs> no comment. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what you have to do is pull the pin on the top side of those saddles, Davey. The top, you take the top pin out first. The top, top pin. So take that top one out, it'll hinge down, and then the bottom one pinches the bottom rod in. So take the, yeah, all right. And then we'll want to have balance twine. We'll tie that all up with balance twine so that we can take it all off as one. So, yeah, all right. <laughs> All right, we've got our hand crank off and we've got all of our saddles unleashed. And we're doing it the easy way instead of climbing on a bunch of ladders. So we'll get this inside, unroll it, pull the pipes out, put the pipes in the new one and uh, put it back up on there. All right, we've got our pipes pulled out of the old one and we're getting ready to toss them into uh, the new tarp. Now this old tarp on the back third of it, it just ripped. So, not good. So, we'll go ahead and toss that pipe in there. Great for guys. That's pretty 
Okay, so we have the trailer inside. We've got the tarp setting up on there, but we do not have it into the place it needs to be. I've got the front cap. I got to do a little bit of work to that. So we're going to be doing a little welding. And then I thought there was something on the back side here too. I've got to look that over. We do need to straighten that bracket assembly right there. And we're going to dismantle this fender and uh, fix that up. We have pipes that protect our diesel fuel tanks and Timothy forgot that he had the trailer hooked on and he grabbed one of them pipes raked the trailer down the pipe and then he stopped when the pipe got to about here or when I when I when it got to the tire anyways so we got to fix that up so that we don't look like delinquents out on the road here I don't remember I don't know what happened to that tarp I don't know if it got hit when it was rolled up on that back corner and it just kind of wrecked everything there or what but the tarp is not that old so we'll get things fixed up this trailer is an 07 model it has served us well however we really don't get the use out of it that we should get from it, uh, it's a great multi-purpose trailer. In other words, we can haul haylage and corn silage with it, along with grain. But I think I'm gonna sell this off and uh, get a dump trailer to replace it with. So we'll get things fixed up and uh, get that tarp fastened down and get it to where it needs to be. Okay, so we have this tarp all just about ready to roll out and latch it underneath the latch. We do have fasteners to hook on to, to go through the actual winding bar. I haven't got that back far enough, but we've got the tarp centered on the trailer. All of the saddles have been hooked back on to the smaller pipe that holds it over to this right hand side of the trailer so we'll wind this out we've got to get that winding pipe back a little farther it's forward a little bit farther than it needs to be what we need to get it unrolled over to the left side of the trailer so we'll go ahead and roll it out and then we'll get that pipe centered to where it has to be and then we're probably going to have to retime that crank handle. All right, so we have this tarp uh, all out and, well, it, it's on there. However, what we need to do now is we need to fasten the tarp to the tube. Therefore, when you roll the tube up, it will actually roll the tarp. So we've got these little plastic clips that we took off of the other one that we'll go ahead and put on uh, this here. We'll have to drill a hole into that metal pipe, put the screws in, latch that all the way down through. And uh, then that will allow it to roll from one side uh, to the other. It looks like I need to push that pipe forward just a little bit. 
climb up on a ladder and push that two inch tube through the loop there. Alright, we've got all of our little white clips on there. We have fastened the tarp to the winding rod. And now it is raining. We've got this out the door a little bit. We need to coil it up and uh, get working on that fender. So we have this all rolled out and it's locked underneath the latch plate. I would like to roll it all the way over to the other side to open it and then close it again. But it is raining out and I need to get working on this rear fender. So we will get this tore apart. We can push that forklift in some. Yeah. So we need to get this tore apart here. So we've got that removed just like so and then what we'll do is we will just kind of push this dent out straighten it up best we can make it look a little better then we'll just bolt it up put it back on there now some of you might be saying you know why are you monkeying with taking it off why don't you just leave it on there and straighten it with it on there well I felt that it would be easier just to take it off and get it all back to normal. This guy here, maybe whack it with a sludge hammer. I've got to maybe heat this guy up and pull this back. This is the holder for the hopper. Uh, if you go from hauling grain like we're doing and you want to take back, uh, well, say you want to bring back a load of cornmeal or something and dump it in a commodity shed you want this guy off of there you can take the hopper off and they've got a nice little spot setting right on here for you to be able to carry it with you but we of course adjusted this to the point where yeah it's not straight no more so i think maybe a hook forklift on there heat that up and just kind of pull that back straighten this and then put it back on
Alright, that's as straight as we are going to get it now. We're going to hook the forklift on that guy there. We're going to heat this up. Pull that back. Push this back. Slam some new bolts in there. And then we got a little piece of metal that we can weld on. Uh, we'll cut that angle out a little bit and get that. Mucho fixed. We didn't exactly get this as straight as I wanted it. Uh, the way they have it mounted, they have it clamped on the T-rail that goes underneath the trailer. And it is somewhat adjustable. You could put it anywhere you want. And I'm half inclined now to just cut the damn thing off because I don't store the hopper on here anyways. If the hopper was stored on this guy here when he hit that post he would have ruined the aluminum hopper so i'm thinking maybe just cut this guy off but um let's get our fender on we've got this bracket here that needs to be whacked with a hammer we'll get the fender on and we'll do a little welding here maybe we'll just weld this up straighten that back out a little bit get that welded up and uh leave it on now but it doesn't look like that hopper is going to fit in there anyways maybe it would i don't know but um yeah all right let's get doing some welding and some installing here
So we've got that straightened and back on there and this guy here I'm not sure what I want to do with that we might just cut that off and throw it out put it on the scrap bin but we've got this fender squared up and it doesn't look like a pile of garbage um, and from 50 feet away and it going 50 miles an hour down the road it'll actually look pretty good well that is gonna do it for this one we'll see how long we can get this tarp to last and uh, how long we can keep the dents from getting into it so that's gonna do our folks thanks for watching and we will Catch it the next one. Travis will walk up the ladders. I'll open the door.